Here are my opinions on the vexation of a shut-in vampire princess. I honestly think this was one of the more slept-on anime of the Fall 23 season. It has a lot of good comedic moments, considerably well-done animation, and a story that develops well across the 12-episode run. The anime's humor is great with puns, some crazy misunderstandings, and some humor surrounding Komori's following even if she'd rather be left alone. Which were things I expected from the anime after the first episode, but the rich world lore and backstory that they weave about Komori's school years and her mother were certainly more than I anticipated. It also falls really well into an overarching narrative that those who truly have power use it sparingly, and it is with that power that they will change the world. Yet through all the trials and tribulations, fighting a crazy murderous ex-classmate, saving a new friend from a shady organization's clutches, and helping a different friend overthrow her government to seize power, Komri still wants to be cute and take a nap, which is the biggest mood ever. I really enjoyed the anime from start to end, and even if it doesn't get renewed for a second season, I think the last episode ends on an enjoyable note. But as always, that's just my opinion. What do you think of the vexations of a shut-in vampire princess?